Okay, good morning, Mr. Chanel, and good morning, classmates. It's a pleasure to me to be here and um, introduce my group. Uh, you already know who they are. They are, you know, Jenny, you know, Gladys, um, Henry, and all you did, you know me. Okay. Yeah, okay. Um, okay, it's for me a pleasure to introduce our topic. Uh, and feel so nervous too. And the topic is the amazing country of Belize. Okay? Uh, okay, where the position is divided in four parts. Uh, general information, history, economic and industrial information, and culture. But uh, the part that I want to speak is general information. We have okay, in first in third place. We have location, secondly, population, and the last one, uh, language. Okay, uh, mm, before to speak our location, we go back to show and talk a little about the, the, um, the flat of Belize. Okay, the flat of Belize is a blue rectangle with um, two uh, straight red, uh, uh, two uh, narrow straight uh, in the top and the bottom of the color red. And this, in the middle, there are a circle, the color white, with a cup of arms of Belize. Um, okay, uh, the principal or the main uh, city or the capital of the Belize is Belmopan, but the largest city is Belize City, where is the where is located uh, the most of the people that live in Belize. Okay. Okay, location. Uh, location. Uh, okay, uh, Belize is look. Uh, Belize is uh, Belize is a, a sovereign country that is located in the middle of the uh, of the American continent. Uh, it's a Caribbean. It's a Caribbean country because um, it's part of the of the Caricom. Um, it's bordered on the north by Mexico. And the west, and the and the south and west by Guatemala and the east of the Caribbean Sea. Um, uh, his land is two two hundred ninety ninety nine uh, of land of long and one hundred twenty of of wide. Okay. Okay. Um, you can see in the map, uh, the list is the the the, the part of the Belize city. That's the the large city is in the coast in uh, in front of the of the sea. But her capital capital is Belmopan. That is not near to the to the to the beach because because. Uh, when people think about Belize, they they go to to Belize City. Um, the other part that is important in Belize is Punta, Punta Gorda, where is the the population in this part are Mayas, Mayas, Mayas. Okay. Okay. Let's go on the next. Okay. The second. Okay. Here are some general information about the population. Uh, Belize is a multiracial country where there are a lot of people of around the world. There are uh, settlers of British and Spanish, and there are Creole people of Belize, and there are indigenous like Amayas. Um, and the, the total country population is the 333,200. Uh, male, one hundred sixty-six thousand and five, uh, and female is one hundred sixty-six thousand and seventy hundred. Uh, okay, about his language, uh, Belize is the only country that speaks 
that speak official language in, in, in Central America. That you see in the uh, in the in the map in the map uh, that is located in the middle and all these uh, islands just speak uh, Spanish but no English. Uh, has a special uh, uh, official language. Okay, Belize. In Belize, uh, people speak three language. Uh, Spanish, English, and Creole. Creole is the is the language spoken by the Creole people. Um, they are different. They are um, they are considered as a dialect, but they think that these are uh, their own language because have a, a special. They are a special a, a grammar and, and spelling rules. Um, here we have a sample of the. Of the of the how to write and how to pronounce pronounce uh, this language we had in the part of the on the left Creole English the different language sound like that yeah. uh, in, in English Creole and English are different language okay um, okay. Okay, that's part is for Henry. Thank you. Okay. Um, I'm going to talk about the history of Belize. Uh, as you know, Belize is located in Central America and was part of the Mayan civilization. According to the historical data, uh, we have three, the one of the most important uh, Temples, ceremony temples in the Mayan civilization. The words Caracol, Lavani, and Lubantu. Imagine the civilization that was growing in that time. One of the most important and great civilizations around the world, which had a great development in philosophy, astrology, and all kinds of uh, activities that were uh, going at that time. Then something happens. In my opinion, it's something bad. In 1638, starting to after the conquer of America, they were establishing or settling some ships which were carrying pirates. Yeah, and in that part of Belize, as you can see, there's like kind of reef. Yeah, there was a shelter for that kind of people, and they started to uh, hide. Because as you know, all the territory that was named at that time like the New World, which was America, was ruled by the American, by the Spanish, by the Spanish, and they didn't want it to concede any grant to any country. In that place, for example, the capitalists were having a crash among French, Spanish, and British people. So. Spanish people claim for the sovereignty of this kind of territory, yeah? But, as you know, there were people hiding in here. That was how everything started. Then, in 1655, there occurred something that our classmates explained. Jamaicans were invaded by British people. It was an invasion, yeah? So then, after some troops were hiding, or oh, we had to uh, rush from the war, they refugee on Belize as well. So they started growing the population of British people and diminishing the population of the Mayan who had to run away to the mountains. Then, on the next century, the Spanish claimed for the sovereignty of the whole territory. But in that case, British kept the control. Yeah? They didn't sit, but the Spanish people granted the concession of the Longwood plant. What is Longwood plant? Longwood plant is order to make dye. What is dye? Dye was in that, in that, uh, in that epoch to use to color the, the cloth, especially the breeding cloth, because those places were ruled for the British people. Not in a legal way, but using pirates. You know, it's kind of funny. Yeah. 
is the story of Pilate. At the end, Spanish and English clashed between many years, and they started a war, which, for example, in the year 1777, there were a battle on a, on, a, on a bay in which Spanish tried to uh, 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 try to oust the British invaders from its territory. But they do it using force. It was uh, like 11 ships with warriors, but the British people as well uh, got, uh, got, got some warriors and the Spanish were defeated. Spanish people were defeated and then there was a trade. There was a, tra a treaty in which they, they said, Okay, you rule all the Spanish, but the, you don't have boundaries, especially in this place. You don't have boundaries. And as you don't have boundaries, you as well have uh, the power to initiate trade and commerce activities, especially from uh, the, the, the Longwood plants, and as well as the discovery of uh, this plant on 1827, uh, 20, which was called Mahogany. Mahogany, it was for the same for the same use, but it grows in larger areas and it needs more people. And what happens? It needs more slavery. So they brought slaves from Jamaica and they it mixed the population. They were the British people, the black people in a they, they, they spread it in a big amount of people. Then they started to uh, get into an inside inland inland zone, and they started or they found the 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 offspring of the Mayas which were existing. So in the culture we have a mixture, a melting point of black people, Caucasian people, and Mayan indigenous people. So imagine how it could be the roots of this city until the independence in 1960. Okay, I'm going to explain the condition in which existed this part. As I told you, the exploitation of Longwood need a lot of workforce. And the space sovereignty over the entire world was claimed by the Spanish people. They said that this is my territory. In 1677, a treaty with Great Britain granted her freedom of trade. They say you are allowed to enter in trade and commerce because British people started to lose some uh, some some regions in which they have the power. In 1866, Spain rights Longwood and Mahogany and Belize. They are uh, as well having the right to do the commercial activities. So they really say instead what before what's happening. Instead, before uh, the, the British people say we have the right. No, excuse me. Spanish people say we have the right. Now they say we have the right to grant you the uh, the right to uh, trade and commerce activity. You know? so it's what the rules. In 1824, there was the independence of Central America from Mexico. Yeah. If we had a map, we could see that. Uh, Belize and some characters of Nicaragua and Honduras and El Salvador was one of, of the largest countries in Mexico. But they formed an alliance and they became independent in this year, 1824. And Belize one of, was of the country, the one of the provinces was, was free. So Spanish lost more the control. Spanish more, more the control. And then as a support for the Spanish and to a uh, way of having used uh, the having used the the, the, the situation, Monroe Doctrine is established in 1823. And what is Monroe Doctrine? It gives United States the power to manage all the situation that happened in Latin America. So say, you respect all the uh, territories conquered by the Spanish. You respect all the conquered territories by the uh, English, and we are not going to allow you to give any kind of war uh, between territories. So United States gained like uh, uh, the 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 right to decide which is happening in the country. It ends in 1970 
with the United Nations after World War II. In that, situa in that uh, situation, United Nations was established and there was an uh, article, the article number two, which said, there are not any right for people to live under slavery, we could say. And all of the countries that were living under some rule, they started uh, having the, the, the power of determination, you, you say, okay? And among those countries are many Caribbean countries, including uh, Jamaica, Barbados, and as well Belize. This is the end of my presentation. It has a clear overview according to what was happening at that time on Belize, and have us make a clear idea of what is happening now. Next, my class will go and display economic and industrial activities. Okay. As my partner said, I'm going to play economy and industrial activities. And Belize has a small, essentially, and privately inter enterprise economy. Uh, this is based primarily in tourism, agriculture, and service. Tourism is the main factor, is the largest industri industries, uh, and the fundamental source for the chain for change for changing uh, of foreign buildings. And agriculture is which employs uh, over one third one third of the least labor force. This is the vital for the Belize economy and services according to the last service applied in Belize to reset the uh, Belize is a country that offers the most, the most special service, uh, in industrial service for the customers. Okay, uh, the another factor that um, the sec sector that supports in the economic of, in, in Belize is fishing factor, uh, the exportation of sugar, bananas, and citrus fruits. Uh, fishing factors is the major productive component in in the in the in the in Belize. In the main in the main product is shrimp. And sugar is the largest industry. Uh, the largest is the largest. It is the largest product export in that country. Banana citrus fruit is the second is is, is the second place. Well. Uh, on the other hand, the Belize government is trying to reduce the poor, poverty and inequality uh, with the help of international donors. And in, in Belize, Belize has the, the second highest per, per capita income, income to the, um, in Central America. It's important to know how traditional, how was traditional economic in, in Belize. First, traditionally, uh, it, is based, it was based in forestry. That was livewood. Livewood is a, a, a spiny tree, and mahogany is a tree that is a tree too, and it is used for making furnitures and in musical instruments. And Chico, Chico is a, is a coagulated meal uh, latex, and this is sapodilla. Sapodilla is, a, is a, the, the main ingredient for, the, for to make Chico gum. And but now, the economy as activity is based in uh, tourism and agriculture. For this reason, it's the most developed in agri an agricultural uh, factor. Okay. Well, now I'm going to explain the agriculture. Now the culture is an essential characteristic that each place, because you may you ha, you can discover the different traditions and customs. 
According to Bonan, uh, the, this place is located to Yucatan Peninsula or Peninsula de Yucatan. The least is the bordered by Mexico to the north and Guatemala to the west. It's interesting um, uh, lo uh, located because this is a this uh, this island is referring to Mexico and Guatemala, and these these uh, places are the Latin uh, country. Okay, but in this uh, in this moment, I'm going to explain that the British and uh, and the Spaniards conquered this place and to influence the culture and the Mayan and the, uh, the British too. About food, uh, the list uh, never has a typical dish, but uh, this considers that the same in Barbados, that the, the, the rice and beans is a uh, popular um, dish. Uh, served with chicken, pork, beef, fish, and vegetables. And the most important is a coconut water and banana fries. This this uh, this kind uh, this type of the the, the food uh, to discover that that trip a uh, tropical flavor. <coughs> About the religion, religion has a different uh, religion. Uh, like uh, the other countries, because they uh, they are influenced to the other customs or the other beliefs, and so the ma the majority is the Catholic uh, a Catholic uh, religion and British influence the other uh, religion uh, like a Protestant congregation that the Swiss and German. Art and dance. Uh, between dance, we uh, we can find to the music because you don't play, you don't dance if not there are music. Okay. Uh, so in the art, first the art is very interesting. But when the Spaniards and British conquered this island, the old uh, almost people has um, a big booth and that elaborate and make a figures that pronounce uh, or to demonstrate or show us what is the meaning about their belief, uh, their, their country, what right? is the, their country or their island. And then uh, the women dress, uh, use a uh, wear dress and typical dress were colorful and so the music, uh, according to um, according to Human 2006, say or refers that the, this culture um, is inculcated to the all the Latin music. For example, Costa Rica and the Dominican Republic and Cuba, because they have salsa, merengue, and and the popular Cuban music song. But this is influence that some. Uh, and dance and make it uh, move the, the weights and like you can see the picture and the as uh, the the character that I identify this uh, very because they have the other uh, uh, pork fry or the face and there are some uh, different um, ethnicity okay and the day, uh, I have a curiously um, detail because in the north and the west of the Belize speak Spanish. Yes, uh, this is a curiously because they have a Span English, but uh, if you talk with uh, these people um, in Spanish, uh, they can uh, they came to speak by like a uh, Mexican or Guatemalan people. Well, in conclusion, I know that you have all island, but the Belize is the best island to visit because there are most opportunity to know that the Spanish, English, and the Creole and French, Portuguese, and the other uh, um, language, and so this, for us, 
is a, a discovery to uh, the other world and, and to get more information about the culture, our uh, general culture. Thank you. Okay. Questions? Mm -hmm. Congratulations on your 